Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for the weekly update. Uh, I actually felt like I had to do this a few days ago because I was gone for the New Year holiday, but uh, yeah, a few things today. First and foremost, uh, right now I'm recording this at 10.19am. It's pretty early for a weekly update. Uh, that is because from 12 Eastern today until 8 p.m. Eastern today. Yeah, it's a long time. Um, I and Wonderful Ones are going to be doing a charity live stream, the Breath of Relief charity live stream. Uh, we are hopefully going to be raising money for John's medical expenses because he's got a whole bunch of uh, important things that he needs to get done, but <laughs> not the money to do so. So, uh, this is very important. It's, I would say, on the side of not necessarily life-threatening, but definitely definitely life-impacting. It's like, he's, he's not trying to raise money for a paper cut. Uh, so, if you could stop by, if you could retweet any stuff, if you could share on other Discord servers, uh, especially if you can donate, any amount helps. Uh, we have an initial goal of $1,000 because <laughs> life insurance, uh, not life insurance, health insurance in this country is a mess, but um, any <laughs> anything, anything will help. Um, so the two of us are going to be playing Breath of the Wild. We're going to be having a race. Wow. Uh, we're going to be each doing it on our channel. There's going to be a multi-twitch link. I'll put that in the description of the video here. Uh, if you want to watch on the multi-twitch, it's great. Uh, I set up Nightbot on my channel the, it's just to talk about the, the charity to give a link to the um, GoFundMe that he has and uh, talk about the incentives. And yes, there are incentives. Uh, since this is a race, um, donation incentives uh, that we have chosen are if you donate uh, $10, and make sure that you leave it in a message, uh, like what you, who you want to happen to. If you donate $10, you can make one of us jump off a cliff. If you donate 20 we can drop a weapon or a shield. Uh, if you uh, donate $50, we just have to die instantly. It's great. Uh, 100 um, clears out our weapon inventory. Not, not shields or arrows, but our weapon inventory. And $200 uh, is go for a walk. You warp to a, uh, a tower of your choosing. And then we have to find three trial sites in order to stop and until we can go back to our main quest. Uh, in addition, we're also going to have milestones for the donation and uh, total donations. Uh, at, at $200 raised, we are going to be continuing our LP of Undertale which uh, was only a few episodes in before we had to stop, unfortunately. At 400, I am going to be doing an extended edition of my rant about fairy-type Pokemon. Uh, I'm, I'm making a list. <laughs> uh, if you know what this rant is, then you should be excited. If you don't know what this rant is, you should be excited. Um, I have a well-documented dislike of fairy-type Pokemon. Uh, $600 uh, mark, we are going to have a sing-along via chat requests uh we're gonna we're gonna sing music it's if you were at the last uh charity live stream uh for um <laughs> that we did uh for christmas i think last year uh that was that was a fun time that was a fun time it was around christmas anyway such classics as singing Africa or singing You're Welcome from Moana. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a fun time. At 800, we are actually going to make the mixtape that we have been promising. <laughs> we have ideas. We've been brainstorming and oh my gosh, I have so many good ideas for this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> and uh, for at, if we hit the $1,000 mark... Um, at MAGFest, John is going to be uh, cosplaying as Hajime Hinata from Danganronpa 2, and I'm going to be cosplaying as Nagito, and it's going to be a fun time. I already have most of the ingredients for the Nagito cosplay, so it's good. Hajime is a lot easier. You really just need to get his tie, because he wears a white shirt. He's very plain. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be going on eight, <coughs> excuse me, eight hours. 
every two hours we're going to have like a 15 minute break at the four hour mark i think we're going to take a half hour break but aside from that um it's uh it's going to be pretty solid we're going to be starting new on breath of the wild and uh yeah i'm also going to put a link to the gofundme if for whatever reason you cannot make the stream but you do want to donate anyway because even if you're not donating towards an incentive you know you could still donate towards a person um, one thing that i've just noticed in general first of all it's a good thing to help out people that really need a little help um, but another thing is that i've noticed in my life uh, is that when you do something nice um, it makes a cascade it makes a good cascade um, and you know you do a nice thing for somebody and it either inspires them to help you out when you need it later or it will inspire them to help someone else out when they help them later and um it's just it's good even if like you know you're not super rich you can't donate a hundred bucks or something but like five ten dollars fifteen twenty thirty you know instead of you know <laughs> getting whatever you know thing that you can wait to get you know just donate here um it will it always pays dividends in the end and uh, i truly believe that and i have seen that with my own eyes especially lately i've seen a few times where i'm like hey that person did a thing that's um you know that i asked them to and it's similar to the thing that i did for them you know a while ago so it's like wow it's good stuff so yeah that's happening in an hour and a half from now i gotta eat breakfast <laughs> uh in addition let's see this past week um this past week was the jewish new year as i discussed it was very nice um coming up tuesday night to wednesday night is the jewish holiday of yom kippur day of atonement um it's a more solemn day where we ask for atonement from god um so again as i said last week if there is something that like is really eating at you inside that you want to address with me please send me a, a private message somewhere i'll try to do something about it um but uh, yeah forgiveness is a very big thing in judaism uh, i'm sure it's a big thing in other cultures but i can't speak from other cultures so i'm speaking from my own personal personal standpoint forgiveness is a very big thing and um it's something that a lot more people i think need to work on because not not saying not not saying here i'm saying in general um being around on on the internet and especially places like twitter for the past decade um people are very harsh uh and a little this is kind of tying into the to the niceness thing a little forgiveness goes a long way um but yeah so there's that um so the yeah so that was nice um videos this past week were uh vods of vesperia and a hat in time um we uh, i posted the two uh, halves of the hat in time yakuza metro dlc uh, a bunch of continuing in vesperia i think this week I'm, I'm, I'm honestly going to have to see how I'm feeling after the stream today. But tomorrow, I'm either going to put up a video for Final Fantasy X as a leveling guide. Um, like, you know, how to... A sphere grid grinding, essentially. Because uh, I recorded all the pieces for it. I just have to do post-commentary uh, and put it together. <laughs> so I might do that because this whole, whole, this whole past week, I've been um, doing... Uh, level grinding on the sphere grid and it's it's very tedious it's very tedious even with the tricks is very tedious um but i finally got past all the rng parts of it now it's literally just grinding um apparently the the pc version of final fantasy 10 hd which obviously i don't have and can't do crossplay for or anything but uh the pc version apparently has auto battle which would have been great for this and also has four times speed which would have been great for this but alas the uh hd version does not on the playstation 4 as far as i know uh it would be great if it did but it doesn't um i also wish they had an auto 
sphere grid, um, like an automatic uh, fill out thing. Because when you grind up 99 le like sphere levels, and you just have to keep mashing that button, and your fingers hurt. Um, like it gets really mind numbing. Anyway, uh, so that's been that's been last week. Um, so my characters are pretty overpowered. Most of them have gone through about half or two thirds of the sphere grid, not including, which is going to be the next step, not including filling all the empty nodes and all of the uh, unlocking all of the like the level four locks because that's another set of grinding that I'm going to have to do. Um, but uh, as it is, uh, I'm just trying to complete everybody's normal sphere grids, and then I'm going to try to, I'm not going to min-max it because it's going to drive me nuts, but I'm, I'm going to at least try to fill it out because that's a trophy. It's filling out at least one character's sphere grid, filling out every character's sphere grid, which means unlocking every node, which means filling every node. So it's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try, if I'm feeling well enough, I'm going to try to put out a video on the sphere level grinding tomorrow monday um and excuse me uh, and then possibly record twilight princess for the week as well and then we'll see after no uh you know what if i get that video out then the next um final fantasy 10 video will be taking on a few of the monster creations because at least I can stall a bit I'm going to say stall there. Stalling means uh, between filling out the sphere grid and beating all the super bosses which generally require you to fill out the sphere grid. So I'm probably going to stall by fighting some of the uh, arena creations since I can beat a fair number of them at this point. Um, and also maybe taking on Dark Aeon. Uh, so that could take the rest of the videos if I can't because you know the middle of the week is Yom Kippur and that's just going to take t time up. Uh, if I can't do that then I'm going to uh, put up Vesperia and uh, the Ocarina of Time randomizer. Continue the Ocarina of Time randomizer videos um, and yeah. So I finished up the Earthbound randomizer. I finished up the Nyakuza and we did a few more Vesperia VODs. So there's that. Um, yeah, so this week is going to be like that. No streams because Tuesday night and Wednesday night again. Tuesday night is going to be Yom Kippur. Wednesday night is going to be right after. And it's it's a day where we fast from Tuesday night to Wednesday night. So there's no way, even if I get home in time to, uh, to, to stream, there's no way it's going to be stream. If I get like really, really bored and I don't get the uh, Final Fantasy videos out, on Thursday afternoon... I might just stream some of the sphere grid grinding because it would like I I need something to do um, to to keep me focused on it. But uh, aside from that, um, no streams. Next week is going to be also a shorter schedule um, because it's going to be Sunday night through Tuesday night is a holiday uh, and kind of iffy the rest of the week possibly stream Wednesday night but probably not because I believe my grandmother is coming for dinner that night and if I stream through that I'm dead <laughs> um so yeah so that's that uh in terms of other things in this past week um Miss Sayanella and uh Adriana Figueroa did a uh, live stream of Untitled Goose Game, so I made a uh, picture in the game's art style. I didn't really know how to draw Adriana, so I just made her the goose with her headset and little music notes implying melodious honking, <laughs> but uh, I think it came out really well. I tried to do it in the game's art style, which is very minimalist, and I love it, so there's that. Um... Okay, fine. There we go. And uh, also just the shirt that he had, that he had, she had. Um, the shirt that Miss Say was wearing, I said he because it's the conductor. Uh, the conductor shirt here, I am I might make this an actual shirt just because it's it's great if you played a hat in time. I don't know, it's funny. Um, I just like how 
it came out also in the minimalistic design. Apparently, like, things like this actually sell as opposed to, like, nice creations. Um, so, yeah. Fire Emblem Heroes announced another Hector. So, I'm gonna have to spend a whole load of orbs that I don't have trying to get him. Whenever he comes out uh, at the end of the month. Uh, I got the... Alchemy, Alchemists, whatever edition of the Bloodstained um, Kickstarter rewards it has this really nice art on the back. That they made a poster also. But yeah, so it's like box here. This is like to hold the game also, but um, it has a few things in it, including a really nice keychain of a sword. Let's see if I can focus on it. Come on, don't focus on me. Focus on the sword. No? You don't want to focus on the sword? Okay, fine. It's really nice. <laughs> it has like a stained glass rose um, pattern. You can kind of see it here. <laughs> you want to focus on it now? problem is that the lights are reflecting off of it so the camera's just like I don't want to look at that come on come on I wish I had an autofocus it doesn't or not not an autofocus a manual focus it is autofocusing that's the problem um, but like just the thing here talking about the um, there's words here you can't see it because they're so bright enclosed are the minted items in your alchemist's treasure rewards plus the temporary tattoo and button you receive for unlocking the stained glass and malevolent metal achievements during the kickstarter this package also serves as a spacer for your copy of bloodstained place your game here in addition an additional spacer is included inside for the nintendo switch version of the game so i mean once essentially what this box is uh first of all tattoo a nice button a really nice pin but like you can put the game case in here and it, it fits um, they also included the spacer for the switch thing is is this which like folds out because the switch games are smaller so that's actually really nice uh, that they thought of that also it came with a strategy booklet which what comes with strategy booklets these days um, it's like an old an old style strategy booklet. This is all by Fangamer, by the way. Read carefully before using your Egovania system in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night video game. A small number of fanged individuals of a condi condition where they may experience pain and smoldering in the presence of sunlight. Continued exposure may lead to permanent da damage and death, even to those who have no previous history of sun exposure. If you experience any of the following symptoms, thirst for blood, shape shifting, pyrokinesis, castle ownership, you may be at risk and should consult your physician before going into the morning sun, lest you be vanquished like the horrible knight. Handling your bloodstained ritual the night game. Do not bite, lick, or eat your game. Do not submerge your game in any kind of blood. Do not challenge your game to a duel. Do not attempt to use your game in an alchemical ritual as it will unleash the dark magic inside. Also a CRT warning, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's written very tongue-in-cheek, and uh, I love it. it. It's an actual guide. It's, as you can see, there's controls and stuff in it. Um, it talks about the characters, talks about the story, talks about the, you know, game, talks about, uh, weapons and controls there, um, and then there's, like, a tips and secrets thing on, like, different cool moves and movements. There is a map. Ooh, map. Um, and, uh, notes area in the back with actual notes, including, uh, some codes, um, to... Uh, some uh, some cheat codes to get like different game modes and stuff. Also, what came with it was a soundtrack, which is actually on two discs. Uh, on the inside flap here, it just has like a listing of all the the tracks and stuff. So I'm very excited to put this on my computer because this game had a very nice soundtrack. And uh, the last thing that it came with was a uh, poster of the uh, the art on the back of the box. Which apparently people had asked not to be folded up, but I don't see how you could exactly... I guess if you send a rolled up tube, but that sounds more expensive. I mean, it's not like they could fit in here, you know? 
Uh, but yeah, so that's that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, my neck's been out of whack lately. Um, I think that's, oh, right, one more thing, one more thing that I got. Uh, where did I throw it? You can look at my butt for a while. I got this from Secret Fairy. It's an actual poppers because the one that I had before is a technically a polka doll, but this is Halloween poppers, like a little cape, and his nose is a pumpkin somehow instead of the big red clown no nose. So technically, this poplio is better than all other poplios because it looks less like a clown and more like a trick or treater. So kudos to the Pokemon company for finally fixing this Pokemon. It's a good thing that this isn't a fairy type yet. Unfortunately, when it evolves, it is not so lucky. But I'm going to save my remarks for fairy types for the stream. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you at the Breath of Relief stream. And um, have a good week, everybody. Bye-bye.